Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing Loxin's Technological Nursing as Caring Model. So our contents are about the theorist, content of the theory, metaparadigm of the theory, model of the theory, acceptance by nursing community, evaluation, and references. So, Rosano C. Luxin was born in March 25, 1954, Manila, Philippines. He is a registered nurse, a native of Domaguete City, Philippines, who resides and practices his nursing profession at Tokushima University, Tokushima, Japan, as a professor of nursing. He is a professor emeritus of Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, Florida, U.S. In 1991, Loxin joined Florida Atlantic University Kristen E. Lean College of Nursing, where he was a tenured professor of nursing and now a professor of emeritus. Dr. Zano Luxin earned his Ph.D. in nursing from the University of the Philippines in 1988 and his M.A. in Nursing in Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Silliman University in 1978 and 1976, respectively, in the Philippines. Dr. Rosano Luxin is a multi-awarded nurse scholar and educator. He held the Lillian O. Slemp Endowed Chair in Nursing at the University of Texas Pan American and the John F. Weimer Distinguished Professor of Nursing at Florida Atlantic University. Dr. Luxin was a Fulbright Scholar to Uganda and a Fulbright Senior Specialist in Global and Public Health and International Development. He is a Fellow of the American Academy Nursing. Technological Nursing as Caring Model Luxin's middle-range nursing theory is an interesting discussion of the correlation between hands-on patient care and the use of technology. Technology is defined as anything that makes things efficient, from basic diagnostic technologies to therapeutic practices familiar to all nurses. Specifically, he discusses the importance of understanding the need for knowing high-tech instruments, example, monitors, implants, and devices that are part of patient care as this will provide opportunities for the nurse to know the patient fully as a person. His theories significantly describe a practical understanding of the solution in reaching the practice value of all the general theories of nursing which are grounded in caring. Technological competency as caring in nursing informs nursing as a critical process of knowing person's wholeness. Luxin's theory explores, clarifies, and advances the conception of technological competency as caring in nursing. His theory is essential to modeling a practice of nursing from the perspective of caring. So it started the questions, what does it mean to be technologically competent? What does it mean to be a caring nurse? How does technology support nursing work? How does it hinder nursing work? How can nurses care for their patients as technological advancements are introduced nearly every day? Luxin sustains the understanding that being technological competent is being caring. Technological competency as caring in nursing is the harmonious coexistence between technologies and caring in nursing. The harmonization of these concepts places the practice of nursing within the context of modern healthcare and acknowledges that these concepts can coexist. Technology brings the patient closer to the nurse. Conversely, technology can also increase the gap between the nurse and the nursed. When technology is used to know persons continuously in the moment, the process of nursing is lived. Technological competency in nursing fosters the recognition and realization of persons as participants in their care rather than as objects of care. So the idea of participation in their care stems from active engagement. 
So the nurse enters the world of one nurse or the patient through available appropriate technologies, attempting to know the nurse more fully in the moment. So in this practice, the assumption is understood that the one nurse allowed the nurse to enter his or her world so that together they may mutually support, affirm, and celebrate each other's being. In this relationship of the knower and the known, technology provides the efficiency and the value that marks their mutually and momentary. Technological competency as caring in nursing is a middle-range theory grounded in nursing as caring. So it is illustrated in the practice of nursing grounded in the harmonious coexistence between technology and caring in nursing. The assumptions of the theory are, first, persons are caring by virtue of their humanness. Persons are whole or complete in the moment. Knowing persons is a process of nursing that allows for continuous appreciation of persons moment to moment. Technology is used to know wholeness of persons moment to moment. Nursing is a discipline in a professional practice. Meta paradigm of the theory. The major concepts of this theory, person, health, nursing, and environment are referred to as the meta-paradigm of the theory. Luxine described each concept in relation to technology and caring and how each interconnected with each other. So first is person. Whole person completely in the moment and continually growing, changing in response to unique personal conditions and experiences. He believes that a person is appreciated through his or her component's parts, including sensory data about a person obtained through technology. However, one of the potential risks of the use of technology in nursing is that by its very nature, technology requires a deconstructionist or reductionist perspective of human beings as mere parts or objects. Meaning to say, it is easy for nurses to fall into the practice of objectification of persons and considering nursing as merely the completion of task. In nursing, he also stated the level of knowledge a nurse possesses is not what makes the person the focus of nursing. Instead, it is the intentional and authentic presence bought into the situation that enables the nurses to know the other person as living unique hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Moreover, he emphasized that the function of the nurse is to be with the patients in their pursuit of their health goals and desires through caring and intentional relationships. The nurse is challenged to be technologically proficient while responding authentically and intentionally to calls for nursing. He stated that technological competence as an expression of caring is only fulfilled with an expertise in technologies of nursing. Thus, nurses act as the interface between technology and patients through a patient-centered care and holistic approach, both using technology to know patients more wholly and to help patients more fully understand the role of technology in their care. And in health, according to Luxine, is the enhancing of personhood, allowing each person to develop a progress moment to moment. It is important to avoid considering person as existing with a box of predicted conditions, needing to be fixed. Rather, each person is unique and individual, and the definition of health varies from person to person depending on their hopes and desires. Next is the environment. Environment centers mainly on the technological world. Technology use allows greater insights of the whole state of the health. Competence in technological knowing allows for continual movement between tasks and improved presence with patients through mastery. Technology and machine skill competence is only a tool to optimal patient care and the focus of care is the person as a whole. So as the summary of the meta paradigm of the theory, a person is believed to be more than just a sum of his parts. 
he is considered whole whether sick or not. The nurse's role is to fully know the patient with the use of technology. And that information from technology use are utilized to care for the patient and not to complete task. As Luxine stated, nurses have always used techniques and tools in meaningful ways to achieve valued ends. Next is model of the theory. In knowing a person, it started with a question, who is person? In who is person, it understands the unpredictable, irreducible person who is more and different than the sum of his or her empirical self. And this consider person as unique individual. So the next question is, what is person? In what is person, it is an empirical fact about the compositions of the person and that considers a person as objects. Knowing the person is the primary process of nursing. We start knowing a person wherein all at once in knowing of personal, ethical, empirical, and aesthetic realms. The continuous knowing of person occurs moment to moment and overpowers the motivation to prescribe and direct the person's life. Next is calls for nursing. The calls is when nurses rely on the person for calls. Knowing person allows the nurse to use technologies in articulating calls. And the nurses responds to calls from persons and that is responses to calls for nursing. The nurses respond with authentications to fully know persons and continually in the moment. And nursing as caring is to direct, focus, sustain, and maintain the person and that is also through calls and responses. Knowing. Knowing is the process of knowing person is guided by technological knowing in which persons are appreciated as participants in their care rather than as objects of care. Designing, both the nurse and the one nurse plan a mutual care process from which the nurse can organize a rewarding nursing practice that is responsive to the patient's desire for care. Participation in appreciation. It is the simultaneous practice of conjoint activities which are crucial to knowing persons. Verifying knowledge. It is the continuous circular process demonstrates the ever-changing dynamic nature of knowing in nursing. Next is acceptance by nursing community. Practice. Practice using technologies in nursing practice is only one way to know person as a whole. It understands data as only current in the moment, also known as invasive lines. Focus in person in the moment to individualize care, known as vital signs. No technologies should be the focus of care. Technologies provide one component to knowing persons complete and in the moment. Next is education. So this theory acts as the foundation for nursing practice. Research. Testing of instruments to measure patient experience with technologies. Next is the evaluation. Accuracy. Technology continues to evolve and encompasses the majority of functional activities that nurses are expected to perform, especially in a clinical setting. Simplicity. The relationships noted in Loxin's theory include three main components of caring in nursing, human beings as person, and technological competence. Scope. The scope of Luxin's theory is narrow. It using technology, caring, and knowing persons. In sociocultural utility, nursing occurs in critical care settings when technologies are used competently with a genuine purpose to know patients wholly. So this is our references.
So that's all for today. Thank you.